back to Liz Truss's astonishing insult directed to Nicola Sturgeon. And, and what, what do you think she is up to? Martin's in Edinburgh. Martin, what do you reckon? Hi, thanks for taking my call, James. You're I think welcome. one of the main tactics of the SNP is to really focus attention onto constitutional issues, really at the expense of governing the country properly. If we have one of the highest death tolls in regard to COVID in the UK, actually in regard to Europe, we have one of the highest death tolls. I work in a, a local food bank and I regularly <laughs> see a huge amount of poverty in Edinburgh. And I just don't think they have a hugely impressive record. And I think that culminates in them trying to get attention as far as possible for the sort of constitutional issues in regard to the union versus independence. And I think, I mean, it might be inelegant to call it attention seeking, but I think it's trying to draw a lot of attention. Well, well, to well, could we call it vote winning instead? Yeah, I think, I mean, I know SP and Because voters, what, what, and what you watch. say when you say that you should ignore Nicola Sturgeon is that you should ignore. <laughs> Not just the people who voted for her, but the fact that she keeps winning majorities. That's well, a quite an odd approach because, to election. Yeah. I think she wins because there's a lot of support for an independent Scotland. I don't think she wins. And is Liz Truss saying actually... that that support should be ignored? Because that strikes me as a bit dangerous. Well, no, but I, what I would What do you think she's saying when... then? What's she saying to people who vote for Nicola Sturgeon because they like I think her she's politics? Drawing attention to the fact that in 2014 we were told it was a once in a generation referendum. We weren't told it would be once every ten years, and right. you know. But you then surely, surely, if you want to challenge somebody, the worst thing you can do is ignore them, Martin. I agree, but well, hang on a I, minute. I thought you were saying the exact opposite. So, so is Liz Truss drawing attention to Nicola Sturgeon when she says that we should ignore her? That seems quite an odd argument. I'm, well, I mean, I wouldn't say you should ignore Nicola Sturgeon. But, but that's what Liz Truss said, and that's what we're talking about. So it's unlikely when she said, I think that we should ignore Nicola Sturgeon, that what she really meant is that we should draw a lot of attention to pledges made before she was First Minister back in 2014. I just want to understand the argument that you think you're making. Well, the, the argument I'm making is that we were told very clearly in 2014 that it was going to be a once-in-a-generation... But how is, how, how is Liz Truss saying we should ignore Nicola Sturgeon designed to draw attention to that well-rehearsed and, I think, largely irrelevant post-Brexit line? Which post-Brexit line? The one you keep spouting. What, how is Liz Truss saying that we should ignore Nicola Sturgeon designed to draw attention to something that was said in 2014 in the context of an independence referendum that never conceived of the possibility of, of Scotland being dragged out of the European Union against its will? Well, I mean, it does seem strange to say I want to stop being ruled by London so I can start being ruled by Brussels. But and again, you seem, you, do... you seem to be reading an answer from a, from a piece of paper containing a question I haven't asked you. I'm just examining what you've already said. How is Liz Truss saying that Nicola Sturgeon should be ignored under your explanation? How is that designed to return attention to things that were said about a referendum at a time when Nicola Sturgeon wasn't the First Minister. And you know, because you live in Edinburgh, that the entire, or the original raison d'etre, the founding cause of the Scottish National Party is independence. To, to, to suggest that they should stop pursuing independence is, you'll forgive me, but that's really stupid. Well, I think we should be honest. I mean, we were told... And I'm <laughs> Go on, man. It's, it's never too late to start. We, we were told this would be once in a generation, and I but, think... But again, know, we, we come back once. again, Martin. You seem to be reading off a laminated sheet that's got nothing to do with the conversation that we're having. How does telling Conservative members that Nicola Sturgeon should be ignored at an English hustings, how can that possibly be designed to draw the attention of the country to things that were said in 2014 when Nicola Sturgeon wasn't First Minister? I believe James is designed to ignore her demands, not necessarily to ignore her as a person. But the existence the of the Scottish that. National Party is to pursue Scottish independence. Okay, and so she keeps winning it and she keeps sure. winning elections. Sure. Should we have a referendum every year until we finally go independent? No. Okay, but you agree with me in that sense. You agree that there's got to be a limit on how many times <laughs> Again, you again, you've pulled out another laminated sheet that bears no resemblance no, whatsoever not, not. to the conversation that we're having. You accept that there has to be a limit on how many times we vote, right? <laughs> yes, and therefore we can only ever have one. Ha ha, zinger no. from Martin in Edinburgh. The question well, is not about referendums this morning. The question is not about 2014. The question is not about um, well, yeah, anything other than why Liz Truss has told English 
Conservatives at a hustings in England that Nicola Sturgeon should be ignored and what message does that send to think, Scottish people? What message does it send to you? I think it sends out the message that we should ignore demands that are ultimately unreasonable. So I mean, we, I should, we should ignore the results of elections? Uh, if a party a dedicated to if if a party dedicated to Scottish independence wins an election, we should absolutely ignore the reason why that party exists. It's quite. I mean, I it's a it's a position, no. Martin. Can I can I can I make the point? If well, as we long as it's relevant had, to the question that I've asked, which would be a yeah, first in this exchange. I will. If yes? we had never had a referendum, James, then I would be firmly in favour of it. But we have had one, and you've already conceded that it would be unwise to have a referendum. I, have, every I haven't year. conceded anything. You have another referendum yeah, as mean? soon as possible, because Scotland is now being dragged out of the European Union against its will. So we should stop being ruled by London, so we can start being ruled by Brussels, which makes <laughs> a lot of sense. Oh, love it. That's another laminated sheet. No, because Scotland voted to stay in the European Union. So Martin. did London. So did, so did London. And, and, I, London wish, and I wish we had a chance of staying in it, but we don't. Scotland does because it has well, that, a democratically well, elected political on. party dedicated to independence. Hold on if, a second, James. I, I'm holding, should Martin. London, Hang on, just make sure you've got the right laminated sheet. Go on, say something London about London. On independence. But why are you asking me a stupid question? It's not a stupid question, James. Okay. London. Why shouldn't they get a referendum on independence, James? Okay, because London can't leave the United Kingdom, Martin. Uh, they could become a city-state. Ever heard of Singapore, James? <laughs> oh, you've got me there, Martin. You're really running. I you're, have, you're, James. you're really running rings around me today. Certainly but, am, James. You, no, you absolutely have. Here am I calling for London to become a city-state. Well, why can't they? Is it physically impossible? <laughs> no, you you explain why they can't, Martin. Uh, it, it's not physically impossible. Singapore is a city-state. The last time I checked. Okay, so we're we're in favour of London becoming a city state yeah, if we I'm think that the democratically I'm elected argument, first James. minister of Scotland should not have the reason for her party's existence to be ignored. Okay, but we had a we had it's a not, referendum. It's not, it's not okay. Yes, before the European referendum, before Scotland was dragged out of the European Union against its will, having been promised in that referendum that that could never happen. I think we're probably yeah, exhausting our, our joint reservoirs of goodwill here, Martin. So no, not, I'll, not I'll ask you one more time. I'll ask you one more time. Okay, and I'll answer this time. Why did Liz Truss last night suggest that the first minister of Scotland should be ignored by the prime minister? of the United Kingdom? I think he did it because it's a constant source of irritation for Westminster when you have part of the UK demanding over and over again independence, even though we had a vote. And why does the Scottish National Party exist? They exist to stand up for Scottish interests, which isn't necessarily synonymous with independence. That, well, uh, you're a member of the party, are you? Or should we rely upon people who support them to tell us why the Scottish National Party exists? Well, I mean, why does the Green Party exist? I'm not a member of that, but I believe they exist to stand up for environmentalism. They do stand up for environmentalism, and when they're in power, they will do things that are designed to deliver a more environmentally friendly environment. Why, why does the Scottish National Party pursue power? They pursue power for a variety of reasons because they want to better the interest of Scotland, but they also what, have what, to be what is, what, as well. what is their abiding reason for existing, Martin? You must be vaguely aware of your own ridiculousness now. No, Scottish. No? Scottish okay, so what is the abiding Scottish... reason for the existence of the SNP? What's the main reason? Be... What's the main? You said you said a, you said a wider array. Just give me the main reason for why the SNP exists. And, and the main uh, reason yes. is sovereignty, which can come in the form of devolution or <laughs> independence. <laughs> okay, up with sovereignty. There's, there's a there's a there's a winning formula, as everybody in the, uh, the United Kingdom can attest. Martin, have a lovely day, and next time you ring in, just get the laminated sheets in the right order before you start reading from them.